me and Toby have a bit of a competition with everything we do and he he, he was on fire today in, in, in our group on the Bronco test, he blitzed everyone. So tip that to Toby, he really stood out. Obviously the Bronco test is uh, a very common rugby drill to get, um, you get a time, obviously it's, five, it's 1200 metres, five laps and it gives you a good base. The last time we did it was in Portugal, obviously in pre-season when you're at your optimum fitness. And then we've done it again today as a measure to see who's been enjoying, who's been addicted to furlough and who's used, been using it to benefit themselves. So Toby was the standout for me today. A couple of the other ones, won't name any names, have really enjoyed the furlough and you know got found out today, but we won't identify them and embarrass them. I find it quite easy to occupy myself and entertain myself and do little things and obviously you don't really not have this time. It's like the summer holidays at school in it where you get six weeks but we've had four months and I used it uh, very much to my advantage and got out and about as much as I could. Took the dogs with me everywhere and uh, really enjoyed it so that's come to an end now. Now we're looking forward to the uh, obviously the season getting back underway and uh, learning how to you know catch a ball and put it down again. You always look forward to the fans being there and the the big uh, the great spectacles but it's the same for everyone isn't it and as you've seen with the football that's been on it is a bit flat and you kind of got to create your own atmosphere but if you're winning morale will be sky high anyway if you're losing i imagine it'll be worse than ever so we'll have to make sure we're winning well it's all right on the wing isn't it you're standing there looking pretty talking to lines but it's the guys in the middle when i feel sorry for uh, health and safety has got to be paramount and, and player welfare looking after them uh, with niggles and injuries you know it's going to be tough hopefully I know we're very lucky we've got a fantastic medical team fantastic coaching and conditioning staff and hopefully you know they'll be able to rotate the squad and get the best out of everyone and there'll be won't be any injuries or, and, and, and that negative side to it and obviously the youngsters great opportunity for them to step up take the opportunities when they can and you know give Steve uh, some real selection headaches. Obviously with this time off all the people who had the injuries, they're back fully fit. Obviously Matty Ashton was unbelievable, wasn't he, at the start of the season. So it was competition everywhere and obviously if you've got a niggle or you're not performing, Ushka out of there, next man in.